Welcome to the Coach Kelly Wells Show, presented by Appalachian Wireless. Now from Buffalo Wild Wings in Pikeville and powered by the 4G LTE network of Appalachian Wireless, here are East Kentucky Broadcasting's Andrew Joyce and U-Pike head basketball coach Kelly Wells. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Buffalo Wild Wings in Pikeville. It's home of the Kelly Wells Show all season long. And how about those University of Pikeville Bears, ranked eighth in the country in the last rankings. The next poll comes out the first week of January. The Bears now 13-0, and the best start in the history of Kelly Wells at the University of Pikeville, and he is the man. Papa Bear himself in the house tonight in this pre-Christmas edition of the Kelly Wells Show. And, Coach, you're coming off a big win over Tacoa Falls. You're 13-0. and uh, It's the week before Christmas. You've got one game to wrap up before the Christmas holiday. You've got to be a happy guy. Smiles on faces. We are happy. We're thrilled with the way we've been playing. Uh, to get off to a 13-0 and start, a perfect uh, start to the season is great. Uh, the guys have a lot of work still to do. we got a lot of cleaning up to do. But to be in the position we are uh, at this stage of the uh, ball game, so to speak, we're very pleased. We're very happy with that. Guys have responded well with practice. Uh, and it's carried over to the games, and I think that's why we've played well. And even against teams like Tacoa Falls, the guys came out, took care of business. We've been playing 15 strong guys, so, like, everybody's getting opportunities and everybody's taking advantage of those. You've got 11 newcomers, and, of course, off to a 13-0 and start. You've got guys that have gotten a lot of minutes. You're able to incorporate those into this team that you already had a solid foundation coming back. You knew what you had. Now, as we said, the week before Christmas, 13 games in. Let's get a grade from Kelly Wells. How's the transition been? And at what point do you shorten that rotation? Well, I think transition is a great word. Uh, the guys are starting to figure out what we want, what we expect, and it really takes a newcomer to the program almost a semester to kind of get terminology, to get expectations, to get the chemistry side of things. And it's that's no surprise it's fallen about like that. And we knew that we were going to have some transitional periods of learning what we wanted to do chemistry-wise. And, you know, I've told you many times, short of the talent on the team, the chemistry is the most important sure. factor after that. So, like it does, like it's not realistic to play 15 players. So, like chemistry will be challenged a little bit as we shorten rotation and you know we tell our guys all the time if our relationship's only about playing time we really don't have a relationship so we don't want that to become a factor for us we want us to be all in together and that's when it's special there's when everybody plays together and we share the basketball like last night we had a little bit over a three to one assist to turnover ratio those are positives that make our team very very special and very good and nobody complains when they wear those things you've got on your finger at the end of the day i'm glad you mentioned it because that's where i was going next it, this, this sits in a very prominent location in my house. Uh, I'm very proud to have been a part of that year, 2011, all in. That was what we heard all that season. Chemistry played a huge part in that team. Those guys got along. They were like family. There were, uh, uh, there were things that happened maybe that brought that team together. You've got a team now with 11 newcomers. Chemistry takes a time to build. As you sit at 13-0 and pre-Christmas, before we get into the conference season, you think about chemistry of this team, the depth of this team, the great start they're off to, the newcomers coming in and fitting in with the program. When you look at goals and anticipation of Kansas City down the road, is this a team that can go deep into the national tournament? Well, I think there's a lot of to be determined there, but I think certainly we have all the possibilities, all the pieces and parts are in place. You know, it's just going to be a matter of what the guys want. You know, I read a quote today that, you know, if you want to be successful, you know, you can't avoid certain things. It just takes what it takes. And uh, there's no question that it takes hard work. It takes commitment. It takes giving and sharing and love for each other. And those are those are things that this team has to be about if we want to reach the ultimate goal because, like, every team in our league is good. Sure. And that's not an exaggeration. Every team in our yeah. league is good. So, like, we have six teams ranked in the top 27 in the country. I yeah. mean, we have three of the four undefeated teams in the country in our conference. Yeah. So, like, there's no days off. So, we just continue work and try to get better every day. And, you know, sometimes the guys think I'm being just a turkey at practice and, and after them for, for – you know, just for frivolous reasons. Yeah. Like, there's a purpose behind everything. All sure. I want them is to do is to grow, uh, get better as a team, as an individual, and uh, that that's what makes me happy at the end of the day. If they, you know, we talked about playing favorites. Like, I've got favorite behaviors that I love, yeah. you know, and I'd like to see them reiterate those favorite behaviors. 
your children, when they behave the way you expect them to behave, they're favorite children. Man, it's Some awesome. days, not so much. Yeah, we have not so much a lot of days, but certainly we love them all through it. Children, players on your team, they become family, of course, at the University of Pikeville as well. And I'm, I'm digging the ch- the Christmas edition oh, yeah, of the U-Pike shirt. Tonight. Yeah, we're, we're definitely festive tonight. Thanks to our bookstore for providing these awesome uh, shirt here, and uh, we're thankful to be – uh, in the holiday spirit, we still have one more game, and uh, then we can kind of let our hair down a little bit, relax, and really enjoy the, the season and the reasons for the season. Indeed. You're going to enjoy dinner with the family tonight, the Bears family and your family in the house. We've got the U-Pike women's coach, Cliff Williams. He's going to sit in with us. We're going to meet one of your players and one of the Lady Bears as well. Merry Christmas to you, Coach. Merry Christmas to you as well as all our followers tonight and all our U-Pike folks that, that cheer for us every night. Coach Kelly Wells, it is the Kelly Wells Show. It is presented by Appalachian Wireless. Coming up Friday, don't forget, the Bears tip off at the Expo Center, 6 p.m. You'll want to be there as U-Pike will take on Cincinnati Claremont. Last chance to see the Bears pre-Christmas. We'll step out. We'll get a break. You'll meet one of the Bears, George Johnson, on deck. He's up next. It is the Kelly Wells Show. We are coming to you live from Buffalo Wild Wings. Welcome back to Buffalo Wild Wings in Pikeville. It's the home of the Kelly Wells Show. We talk to you, Pike basketball. And of course, the Bears 13-0 and after last night's win. Currently ranked eighth in the nation in the NAI national rankings. And uh, we'll step away from the coach, and you have a chance to meet one of the Bears now, uh, a 5'11 junior out of Brentwood, California. George Johnson joins us now. George, welcome to the show. How you doing? Thank you for having me. Great to have you here. We're going to talk basketball. We're going to talk about getting from Brentwood, California, to Pikeville, Kentucky in that transition. But let's talk first about the student athlete, George Johnson. Let's talk about your major. What do you want to be when you grow up? Uh, right now my major uh, is sociology. Uh-huh. Um, my mom is actually a social worker, so okay. I have a bit of a background on, uh, you know, working with, you know, community-based, you know, people and, you know, within the community. So um, I definitely want to probably do something within the same type of thing you right. know, she's doing, social work. But uh, – it's really good. I'm, I'm very interested in my major. And, of course, uh, you just uh, wrapped up uh, finals. Mm-hmm. Good yes, semester sir. academically. Great semester. I finished off pretty well, so I'm happy with that. Very good. Yeah. It's always great when you can knock out that last final and feel good about it. Exactly. Grades get released. You can focus a little bit about your final game before Christmas, and then you're a long way from home. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about that. Brentwood, California to Pikeville, Kentucky. Take us on that journey. Um Brentwood is, uh, or just California period, is a lot more fast-paced than out here. Uh, but it's been good coming out here. It's uh, allowed me to focus with school, finish up my last two years, um, and just stay focused with basketball, and, you know, like I said, with school. So um, it's been quite a transition, but it's been a, a good one. Let's talk about how that happened. How did you get mm-hmm. from your last basketball stop to Pikeville, Kentucky? Um, I finished my last year playing at College of Marin, in the Marin County area. Right. Um, play had a really good season. I uh, didn't really have too many offers coming out of there. Um, so Coach Wells, he uh, reached out to my coach, and we developed a, a relationship from there. Um, and they've been loyal, you know, the whole time. So right. I came here. Came here. You make the transition. You learn to play Kelly Wells' style of basketball. What's that transition been like for you? Uh, it's been good. Uh, coach Wells is a great coach. Um, he instills discipline, um, integrity. Um, and I've learned that uh, from previous schools I've been at in high school and in my junior college. So um, the transition wasn't too bad. Uh, you know, I, I, everything I've been used to. Um, sure. So it's been, like I said, the transition has been easy. And I like being coached by a right. tough coach. Yeah. You know, the coach that pushes me. So it's, it's been good. The transition from California to Kentucky. Mm-hmm. How much culture shock was <laughs> there, number one? And number two, how long did it take you to get used to that? Honestly, probably like a month and a half, two months. Yeah. yeah it was pretty rough at first just because it's kind of isolated from everything. Sure. Um, but like I said, it isn't too bad. We have a Walmart. So <laughs> that cures go everything. Go. Exactly. exactly. It, it cures it all. <laughs> and, and, of course, uh, you've got uh, – there's a video game system out there. You've got mm-hmm. Twitter. You've got social media. You can absolutely still stay connected immediately with everyone there. Mm-hmm. Yes, all sir. right. Basketball-wise, this team 13-0. and Mm-hmm. You wrap up the pre-Christmas part of the season 
this Friday, and then George Johnson, you're a long way from home. You're going to get a chance to go back to California. You talk about that. Talk about what that means to you, a chance to go home here during the Christmas break. Yeah, it's definitely needed, you know, uh, getting a break, you know, for a few days just to go back and, you know, see my family and my friends. Um, it'll be a, a really good thing for me. Um, but, yeah, as soon as I come back, it's right back to business, yeah. you know, with school and with basketball. So um, just stay focused. That's the main thing for me. Very good. Uh, of course, uh, you're one of the newcomers here at the University of Pikeville. Coach Wells and I talk about chemistry a lot. Mm -hmm. It's important, the 2011 National Championship team, uh, that this ring represents. That team had great chemistry. Mm -hmm. It took time to develop that chemistry. What's the chemistry like from a player's perspective? Not Coach, Coach Wells, not what his thoughts are, but this team, chemistry as you describe it, what's it like on this edition? Um, I think it's been pretty good so far. I think we started off a little slow uh, just because we were – trying to get a feel for one another sure. and get used to each other. But since we've been winning, um, you know, that's been a plus right there. So I think we've kind of just uh, – we've been able to just develop a relationship on the go, you know, on the flow. And it's been really good. Um, right now, you know, we're undefeated. Um, we want to continue, you know, having that, you know, going that way. So um, everything has been good, though. It's a lot easier going home Christmas break when you go back undefeated. Let's get one more Friday before you head to yes, California sir. for a couple of days. Yes, sir. George Johnson, thanks for being with us. It's great to have you as part of the Bears family. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. We've got another guest coming up, a special guest from the women's team at the University of Pikeville. Emily Baker is coming up next. Coach Cliff Williams will join us as well. The Kelly Wells Show presented by Appalachian Wireless. We are live from Buffalo Wild Wings. Welcome back to the Kelly Wells Show. It's brought to you by Appalachian Wireless as we come to you live from Buffalo Wild Wings. And uh, Coach Wells Bears, eight in the country, 13-0. and 0, And they're back in action this Friday. Your chance to see the Bears men at the Expo Center, 6 p.m. tip-off this Friday. Be there and check out this team as they prepare to break for Christmas. The U-Pike women, they've been in action as well and a chance to meet one of the ladies from the University of Pikeville women's team. Uh, you know her if you're from the area because she is a six-foot, hard-to-believe junior, as we were just talking. They grow up too quickly. From Belfry, Kentucky, Emily Baker. Emily, welcome to the Coach Kelly Wells Show. Thank you, thank you. Great to have you here. I say that because I saw you play growing up, and to think that you're now a junior playing at UPIC, it's hard for me to believe. We're going to talk basketball, but first let's talk about the student. You just wrapped up finals. What's your major? I'm a psychology major. Psychology major. What are you planning to do in the future? Um, I'm wanting to be an occupational therapy therapist, so that's the plan. That's the plan. <laughs> yeah. uh, Emily Baker, uh, you just wrapped up finals. I ask you the same question I asked George. George was pretty happy. Finals were over. That's something he's happy about. But he was pretty happy with his semester as well. How about you? Yeah, I finished with a 4.0. I've always been one of those kids that loves school. So, Hang on. <laughs> Hang on. For those of you that are tuned in that struggled for a 2.5, <laughs> Here's a 4.0 this semester. Emily, uh, let's talk about your, your overall grade point average. If you're one of those that strive to be that 4.0 kid, yes. what's your all your total grade point average? 3.85. What's wrong with that? <laughs> what happened? I don't know. <laughs> you slacker or you? I must have slacked one semester. <laughs> 3.85. That's incredible. The demands of being a student and a psychology major, making the transition from high school to college classes, and being an athlete, the demands of being a college athlete, practice, weight room, conditioning, training, besides the game and travel schedule. Mm -hmm. How do you balance those for those that are tuned in that maybe are looking to do that down the road? Um, I, my planner is my best friend, yeah. and it helps when you surround yourself with people who have the same goals as you and are um, involved with the same activities as you because once you surround yourself with them then you guys are basically on the same schedule all the time so that helps me out a lot my teammates are basically my friends on campus too so they help me out a lot and then of course my planner got it you got it you got to manage time yeah time management is a big thing in college especially if you're like one of those people that strive to be like the absolute best so yeah 
hardest class you've had at UPike? Uh, it's got to be that one B you got. Um, I got that in high school when I was taking college courses. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. We'll, we'll give you that. Okay. Now let's talk basketball. You make the transition from Belfry High School. We watched you grow up. We watched you play there. Making the transition from a high school player to a college player, what's that like for you? Um, it teaches you stuff outside of basketball. It teaches you how to mature. And, like, once your maturity level reaches a certain point, everything just seems to fall in place. Basketball in college teaches you st things like outside the court and how you should handle certain situations. Um, transition physically was a big one for me my freshman year because high school, it wasn't that big, like, challenging-wise. Sure. But once you get in college, it's like, whoa, this is real. Yeah. So, but now everything, I'm comfortable here. and. What's the biggest wow going from high school player to a college player? You say now it's real. Mm -hmm. Is it the size of the players? Is it the talent of the players? Is it the speed of the game? It's just how physical everybody plays. Yeah, yeah it's definitely physical because in preseason and postseason, you have people training to be stronger and faster. So every year everybody's improving. Yeah. So. Being, those post players are big in, yes. our, in our league, so that was a big eye-opener for me. Guarantee you. Uh, Going to ask you uh, one question that we talk to many of the UPIC athletes about. We've all got a, a favorite moment in our athletic careers, whether it's t-ball, middle school, high school, college, whatever. You've got a favorite moment. What's your most memorable basketball moment? Well, you guys all know that I'm a defensive player. Defense is my favorite thing. So um, last year I took my first charge against Shawnee State at home, and that was by far, I don't care how many points I score, but if I'm doing good defensively, that's always going to be the highlight for and me. And you jumped up off the floor and gave yourself yeah. a fist pump, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, it, that's it, girl. Emily Baker right there, one of the UPike women. Be sure and check out the UPike women next at the East Kentucky Expo Center. They're back in action after the holiday break. We'll talk about their schedule, the Christmas holiday as well. Coach Cliff Williams of the UPike women coming up next on the Kelly Wells Show. Welcome back. It is the Kelly Wells Show presented by Appalachian Wireless. And, of course, we're coming to you live from Buffalo Wild Wings. And uh, Coach Cliff Williams of the University of Pikeville women's basketball team joins us now. Coach Cliff Williams, it's been too long. We're it's glad you're here. Welcome in tonight. Thanks for having me back. Catch us up to date on the University of Pikeville women. Uh, you, you guys have already played your final game before the Christmas holiday. We have. Let's talk about your your first semester of play. Catch us up to date. Okay. And then talk about the girls and their Christmas schedule. We um, – Knowing who we had coming back, we set a tough non-conference schedule. Um, started out with uh, Marion University out of Indiana. Yeah. Back-to-back um, -back national champions, D2. Uh, strong program. And, you know, we're trying to go there. We want to be a top-10 program. Um, so we have to go and see what that really looks like. Sure. And so we set the bar high. And we're sitting 8-6 and six right now after um, winning some – really tough games against ranked teams. We beat number 11 Bethel. Right. We beat number 15 Central Methodist. Right. You know, and we lost some games that were, eh, you know. So we're learning and, and trying to develop that consistency. Absolutely. And, of course, uh, you wrap up your 8 at 6. And uh, your next game, not until December 30th. Right. Christmas break has already happened mm -hmm. for your women. But they haven't been all break since finals. Let's talk about what you've been doing the last week. We, uh, we decided to do a mini camp. Um, we had an opportunity to go down to Florida, but we already had our schedule set, so it would have been exhibition games. And instead of going down and, and spending the extra money, um, we decided to, to go to Gatlinburg, went to Rocky Top, and, and did a mini camp to work on and prepare for, camp, for a conference. Uh, we had some new offensive schemes we wanted to introduce, uh, some new defensive schemes we wanted to prepare for. So when we come back, on December 27th, we can hit the ground running. Yeah. You know, um, and we accomplished that this week. That could happen at any gym. Any gym. Any location. Right. But you get out of town. We get out of town. That's dual, right. Dual purpose trip. Tell us why. Not just, you know, not just basketball. It, it's also team building. Yeah. Um, we did some escape room work. Um, we get together and, and get to spend time learning about one another off the floor as well, and that's just as important as the basketball piece. Coach Kelly Wells and I talk about chemistry. We talked about it earlier on this show. Mm -hmm. uh, your team, their chemistry after a trip like that, I'm sure it's better than when you return than 
when you left. It certainly is. And, you know, we, we wanted to set the tone. I mean, we lost a tough game on the 15th, but, you know, an opportunity to get away and set the tone going away for Christmas yeah. so we can come back because, I mean, we're going to be going two a day <laughs> until we get to the game on the 30th. So. Sure. Back in action on the 30th, uh, Rio at the Expo, 2 p.m. tip-off. We want everyone to be there. Uh, you've got a little bit of a break. Now, what's the ladies' schedule? Uh, we're heading toward the Christmas holiday. Mm -hmm. When do they get some time off? They, they can go home if they'd like. They went home today. All right. So we got back from Gatlinburg this morning. Um, everybody broke and went home. Uh, they will come back on the evening of the 27th. We'll do the same thing as the men are doing and, and start preparing the morning of the 28th so we can go again and get ready for conference. You get things started, and uh, conference play is just around the corner. It's and here. We know you're chomping at the bit for that. Uh, proud of your team, and uh, let's get uh, Mid-South Conference Championship. Hey, you know, we get to host them this year, so we're looking forward to it. Indeed. Coach Cliff Williams, great to have you here. We want to wish you a Merry Christmas. Thank you very you much. and the women's program. Always welcome to, show, to be here. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Coach Cliff Williams of the University of Pikeville women's team. You'll see them at the Expo December 30th. They'll take on Rio Grande, 2 p.m. tip-off. And, of course, the men. They'll be back in action this Friday at the Expo Center. They'll take on Cincinnati Claremont, a 6 p.m. tip-off this Friday. And we want you at the East Kentucky Expo Center. We've got guests in the house tonight, of course, Cliff Williams, but also from the Mullins Middle School Basketball Program. We've got some of their, uh, their crew in the house with us tonight, special guests for tonight's show. Also want to say thanks not just to the Mullins Middle Schoolers, but to uh, Emily Baker from the University of Pikeville women's team, George Johnson from the UPike men's team, and, of course, Coach Kelly Wells joining us earlier from all of us at the University of Pikeville, Bears family, both men and women, we want to wish you a Merry Christmas from the University of Pikeville basketball programs. You've been tuned to the Kelly Wells Show presented by Appalachian Wireless live from Buffalo Wild Wings. Merry Christmas, everyone. This has been the Coach Kelly Wells Show presented by Appalachian Wireless.